Hello, my name is Trogdorate Freebird bringing you a tutorial on improving your performance for gaming on a Windows PC. We'll be starting off with changing your power options. To get the best performance out of your hardware, click the start button, go to control panel, then type in power in the search bar. Click on power options and make sure that the high performance is the power plan you're using. Windows normally holds back your hardware to save power so it can make a good improvement in overall performance. Now let's use msconfig to help performance. Using msconfig can help by having less applications running at the same time. First, hold the Windows key and press the R key. Type in msconfig and press OK. Go to the Startup tab and uncheck everything you don't need. If you don't know what something is, then you can Google it to find out if it's worth keeping or not. CCleaner is the first bit of software on our list. Using an application for general optimization can be useful. I like to use CCleaner, it's not the only one, but it can do the job very well. If you do want to use CCleaner, just download and install like so. Once you open the application, click Run Cleaner down on the bottom right. You can also go to the registry and scan for issues. After it's scanned, fix selected issues like so. You can also improve performance through Windows properties. Firstly, you need to hold down the Windows key and press the pause break key. Now click on Advanced System Settings. Under the Advanced tab, under Performance, click Settings. There are many options here and the more that you're willing to disable, the better performance you may get. Afterwards, just click Apply and OK when you're done. Razer Game Booster is another good application to improve performance for gaming. Razer Game Booster is a good application to reduce some stress on the CPU for gaming. Simply Google the name to get to the website where you can download it. Wait for the file to get done downloading and then click on it. This starts up the setup installer. Follow on-screen instructions to install. If you don't already have an account with Razer, you may need to make one. If you launch the game with Razer Game Booster running, the game will automatically be boosted. Please ignore my save game notifications, sorry about that. If you go to the utilities section, you can find many different tools and options to help you out a bit. I would recommend googling which processes are safe to remove and which ones are needed before removing them. There's also a manual boost as well which can be useful. You may want to tweak or defrag, but you need to make sure that your drivers are updated. There are quite a few essentials to help out your Windows PC. Downloading the latest versions of C++, Net Framework, and DirectX for your Windows system is essential for performance and compatibility. Also, both 32-bit and 64-bit versions should be installed for the best results on a 64-bit PC. Updating Windows can improve both performance and compatibility. To update your Windows PC, hold the Windows key and press the pause break key and go down to Windows Update. If it says there are important or recommended updates, then you should update for the best performance and compatibility. And finally, you can also defragment your hard drive through Windows. To defragment your hard drive, go to the Windows search bar and type in Disk. The program Disk Defragmenter should pop up, click on it. Keep in mind, you should not defragment your hard drive more than once a week, it can damage the drive. The higher percentage of fragmentation, the more necessary it is to defragment. To defrag, just click Defragment Disk. 
thanks for watching that's all there is for this video